Hi, my name is Levi. I'm a 21-year-old Kiwi working in Indonesia as a pilot. In the last few months, I've been lucky enough to see more than most people will ever see in their lifetime. So, through the power of YouTube, welcome to my world. base that I'm in is called Dabo Singkep, which is probably only a hundred nautical miles, maybe not even, from Singapore. The island isn't super small, but the population definitely is. I'm in the biggest city and there's only one supermarket, so I'd probably call it a town more than a city, but realistically all of our needs are catered for. Another thing I thought I'd mention is that Dabo Singkep typically has three captains and three first officers at one time, but the house, which is about five minutes drive from here, only has capacity for five. So I'm staying in this kind of villa with a couple of other ground crew. So I'll give you a little view of the street that's the next door neighbor. And inside is where my room is. I'm gonna be a bit quiet. I don't know if the camera does it justice, particularly with the high stud, but this room in particular is probably a fair bit bigger than most people would have like flatting or something back in. New Zealand. Plus I spend a lot of time over at the other pilot's house which is pretty massive actually. The beach is also only about a five minute walk from here. So you really have unlimited options for places where you can go for downtime. Now I'll really get into what I do the night before a flight. So it's a pretty straightforward system for scheduling. The yellow is Dabo Sinket base. The other colors are the other bases throughout Sumatra. As you can see here, my name is on tomorrow. We are flying from Dabo to Jambi. Jambi to Karinchi, Karinchi back to Jambi, and Jambi back to Dabo. So after checking this sort of stuff, I always go into my flight planning. Now in terms of my bag, I've got my Ray-Bans glasses, my wallet, can't forget my headset, and my iPad, and then any other things I want. One of the best things at Suzy Air is that even though you're living in lots of different places all the time, Everything is basically catered for. When it comes to food, we have a dedicated cook at the pilot house. So in the morning, there's either gonna be lunch waiting for me or I'll just have it when I get back. This sort of thing being provided really does free up literally hours of your day. So it's quite an underrated thing that probably most people would not think is included when you come to a job like this. Another thing that's included is laundry. So I've got a bag full of my laundry that I'll hand over in the morning and that will be done for me by the afternoon or so. My uniform and clothes for the morning. I always have this ready the night before so I can just chuck it on. I've got my trusty old Parker pen and I always put a New Zealand badge emblem on here. I just think it looks nice. And badge, shoes and pants up here, all ready to go. And I should be picked up around 6.30 in the morning and it's only a five minute drive to the airport, which is quite convenient timing wise. Once we arrive there, we'll pre-flight get straight into things and hopefully depart around 7 a.m. for our first flight. Good morning. Good morning, Vietnam. I'm all dressed and ready to rock and roll. All right, I'm just having a quick bite to eat some cereal and a coffee and then I'll be picked up in around 15 minutes or so. And here she goes. And here are the aircraft. The lads are going to the other aircraft. And this is the one we'll be flying today. And it's all ready and set up for us to go. And here's the flight deck. And I'll set up my stuff and put my headset in and everything else that I need to do. Okay, so for the weight and balance, I need to effectively balance out the weight so that it fits into the envelope we've got here. Egg buggy. <laughs>
Right, so I'm just doing a walk around of the plane. I'm effectively just inspecting anything that could uh, ground the aircraft or just be unsafe for the flight. So I'll pick up everything from what the tires are looking like and the actual skin of the aircraft. And then I check inside of the aircraft for life jackets being there and anything that could be missing. And now it's time for a fuel drain. <laughs> Hello, hello, loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, on the rack. Okay, before taxi checklist. Full boost. Here's a normal. Gas mister. Oh, consider taxi lock. Here's on. And okay, the radar is standby neutral separator. Here's on bypass. And NG ITT. Here's about 52 below 675. Complete next to taxi. Alright, before taxi checklist. Complete next to taxi. Okay, we're ready. ready to go. Okay. And go for descent check. And coming up. And descent check, salt simulators. 1010, 8, Uh Set on the left, approach briefing. Complete. Uh, Navina. Set and brief. Minimum. Just the grid of the 2000 feet, 25 miles. Uh, and we've got 2000 on the MSA. Uh, and complete ready for descent. Radar Sky Queen 721, I know present position ready for descent. Sky Queen 721, I know descent to 4000, report reaching. Second seven to one and let us swing to one zero degrees zero four not in it's one zero one one runway one three clear to land. Clear to land once escape one seven to one. Go flaps ten. Air check ten selected. Flaps twenty. Air check twenty selected. Flaps full. Air check full selected. Flaps full. Alright, welcome to Jumbi Airport. Flight time was about 45 minutes, mint weather, and it was good fun with Captain Renner, epic guy. Now we're just waiting for the plane to be filled up and then we'll fly to Kerinci, and honestly it's one of the most beautiful aerodromes I've flown to so far being in Indonesia. It's covered by hills and a couple of times when we've gone in uh, there's been a lot of cloud cover and we've had to descend over the lake but it should be good weather today and I'm expecting some nice views on the next flight. Hey, two, two, three, 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 three,
One, two, three, six, laps. And it's getting 20. 20, controls as a normal. Set control. Turn full, three, and correct. Instrument set and check one, zero, one, two. Zero, one, 70, not back, not cross, consider the cross check on the right. If you're remaining. As mission load 1300, navigation. Third load, flap and route. Take off three. Air's configured. Blue sky is considered, we'll do it in the air. And check the checklist fleet, followed by lineup. Sky Queen 7, two, two, three, right. Second seven two three, right turn, Derek Green, key, runway one three, clear for takeoff. Right turn, Derek Green, key, runway one three, clear for takeoff, Skyway seven two two three. That's governing. Check, turn bound. It's been live, turn check. I'll sit, check. 16 knots, check. Second seven two two three, at one zero one five three, contact your video there on one two five decimal zero. One two five decimal zero. See you later. Scan point seven two two three. Seven seven two two three. In secure position. We are surface wind. Call for runway three zero square. Runway three zero square. Scan point seven two two three. Zero, then added a zero. I am my hero. Look at the magic, what it's like in my mind. It's doing catastrophe at the same time. Remember, they laughed at me when they were. Doing circuit, final checklist, damage. Check, final checklist, and speed, flat, powerful, full prop ignition. Separator bypass. Ignition is on, your damper is off, and speed is 81. Decreasing, VF is 76. Back. And winds come. For our jump, keep landing. Back. All right, we're here in Kerinci and I am just doing my final walk around so I get to close the door and make sure that the door is locked and then I'll just walk around the aircraft and make sure everything's closed up. Alright, so we're currently in cruise right now at 9,000 feet, so you can see the altitude here and our distance to the next waypoint, which is our destination, is here. And then on here we've got our current track, which is just straight to the destination. I can zoom that out so you can see where we are relative to uh, Singapore, this is Sumatra, and Java over here, which is quite cool, and then or is just over here, not very far. Then after that, I can go to the flight plan and see all of our different waypoints that we've got, how much fuel we have at the destination. And so we'll be landing into Jambi Airport in the next 20 minutes. Uh, so it says 20 minutes remaining there. So yeah, we'll see you on the ground.
Cabo. But time to close everything up and we'll get going and I'll have some ice cream. All right, we're back home and it was pretty short of a day as things stand. I'm gonna have some more food and I might take you with me for the rest of the day to show you a little bit about what we do outside of flying. I'll definitely head off to the pilot's house at some point and head to the supermarket. So, see you soon. It's a bit of a grisly day now, but I'm still off to get my ice cream that I was looking forward to. Well, that aged well. Oh, the brain drops. Oh my god. For reference, this is about 90 cents New Zealand dollars, which in other words is 60 or so cents US. Now, one of the funny things about being in Indonesia is that it's probably the closest thing to being a celebrity as it gets without actually being one. Because as a bule or a, what they call a foreigner, basically everyone is looking at you and saying hello. And to be fair, they're very, very polite, but it's super funny walking around just in a supermarket and even little kids' eyes are just staring at you the whole time. It's quite a surreal experience, but I'm pretty used to it now. I pretty much only want to get drinks before having with dinner and lunch, because I've already got a whole bunch of food provided. Any cereal lovers, only thing you're really gonna get here. This ice cream is $1.60 New Zealand dollars, or about $1 US. And $8.80 for that grocery shop. Yeah. All right, so I've just been to the supermarket as you just saw. I got eight bottles of drink, which included uh, Coke and some coffee, and I got an ice cream next. And then I also got kind of a nail clipper kit as well, uh, because I left those back in New Zealand. So all up, I spent about $14 on that outing. So the cost of living here is pretty ridiculously cheap in comparison to a place like New Zealand where the costs are so expensive. So it's not quite the blue skies that I was imagining. We made it work and I'm gonna enjoy this. It's a strawberry kind of slushy looking thing. They call it a smoothie and I would not call it a smoothie in New Zealand, but it is what it is. Honestly, now I'm gonna have about 30 minutes of downtime and watch some Shark Tank and then I'll have to do some video editing for tomorrow because I've still got that to do. Alright, I am filming this a couple of days after the fact. I was flying a few days ago when I was filming the vlog. Now I'm in a city called Padang, which is where I've been for the last couple of tours as well. And I'll be here for the next couple of weeks before I go back to uh, Blue Days, which is our holidays. Please let me know in the comments and give me some constructive feedback, whether that is criticism or not. I do want to dial in what does and doesn't work when it comes to filming a vlog like this. So hopefully it was engaging or interesting in some capacity and I'll see what I can do to make it more interesting in the future. It is a little bit hard to film everything while you're still on the go because realistically I have a job to do but it's still cool that I've been able to make it work as much as I have. I do have every type of social media account whether that's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube that you're already on now or even things like Facebook and Twitter. I'll put links to that in the description if you want to follow me there. So thank you very much and I'll see you again in the next video.